Well, hey everybody, welcome to another Not Thursday in New Hampshire. Are you ready for some brain food? What I have here is a clipping from a newspaper that the guru sent along as she was searching for family lineage of a particular family that she's researching. What this is, is an advertisement in a newspaper for the sale of a farm here in town. And get this, February 19th, 1827. It is a beautiful description of a farm back then. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read it to you. Straightforward. We'll look at some images of places we've been. And then we'll break this down a little bit because it's, it's pretty awesome. It's extremely descriptive. And it's something we don't often get to hear is a full-on description of how people would have described the place they lived, well, just about 200 years ago. For sale at auction, a good farm containing 120 acres of land under good improvement, well fenced with 670 rods of stone wall. It is two and a half miles from the meeting house on a good road and only 15 rods to a good schoolhouse. Said farm is provided with good comfortable buildings and is well watered and wooded. It is divided into lots capable of various kinds of husbandry with an orchard on the same. Also, horned cattle, sheep, farming utensils, and household furniture. To be sold on the premises the 15th day of March next, sale to commence at 9 o'clock a.m. when and where the conditions will be made known. February 19th, 1827. So here's something to keep in mind. Uh, in 1827, for our town here in New Hampshire, we were essentially at peak population uh, for that century. 1827, all the way up past the Civil War, it was just a decline. People were leaving, Civil War, well, that did a number on the population. We didn't rebound and get close back to that until the 1960s so it took like 130 years so this was just prior to people starting to leave New Hampshire for better land but let's take a look at this containing 120 acres of land that's a big chunk of land and in New Hampshire you can go from having a nice flat field to marshy meadow like that to Rocky Mountain over here in 120 acres really quickly so makes you wonder how that 120 acres was because we still don't know where this site was. We have some ideas on it, but not exactly sure. And then 670 rods of stone wall. That is two miles plus 1,000 feet of stone walls. Think about that. It's two and a half miles from the meeting house. So you're probably talking an hour and 15 minute walk. Still not too bad, right? On a good road, that kind of cracks me up because it's funny, but it's not funny. It was important because as you guys have seen us move across the countryside here, sometimes the terrain can be just brutal up and down. And the home site being only 15 rods away from a good schoolhouse. 15 rods, that's just about a quarter of a mile. So that's real close. And keep in mind, in New England back in those days, most towns could have had a dozen schools because, well, they didn't want the kids to have to travel more than, you know, 15 rods. And it's interesting how it describes how there's several different buildings and stuff. And as you guys see us out metal detecting and exploring, we can be out way from the house and we find these iron beds. Well, these are the outbuildings they're speaking of. Could have been for tools, could have been for the livestock, uh, could have been for the in-laws, who knows. But I like how it describes it is divided into lots capable of various kinds of husbandry. Because when you think of the places that we show you, and they look like this now, but you know, back in 1827, undoubtedly, this was all stripped clean. Farmland, pasture, or just pulled for timber. And then the other interesting thought, these people decided it was time to go 
in February in New Hampshire. And I'm going to leave you with one last thought. And this comes from the guru and what she learned. These are the kind of conditions and situations that people left New England back then. This particular family left with two wagons, 10 kids, including a nine week old baby, and they went all the way to Ohio. All right, so that's it. Just wanted to give you guys some brain food and that description's just awesome. I've had that clip for about a month now and when I'm out here, I just constantly flash back to it and it's just a wonderful thing. All right, I'll see you guys all soon. Until next time, enjoy your not Thursday.